like an angel set me free Where are you now? Do you Exposure one was 5.6, 12 minutes. I hope it's not too overexposed. I will under underdevelop. Uh, I'm gonna go F8, 10 minutes on the next one. It's very bright actually. That was F8, two minutes, shot one. So um, these two shots of the horizon, I call it, I'll call it passing ships because there were ships, there was a ship passing through. That could have all gone a bit wrong, but it was uh, F5.6, three minutes, and then F5.6, four minutes. It's amazing how much that moon moves in the space of a few minutes. That ship is a fishing boat directly under the moon. So this guy's taking his time. Annoyingly, fishing boat over to the left, just out of the frame. I think he's dropped his anchor because he's not coming towards us anymore. Uh, and the light's gone really soft. Uh, that little bank of dark cloud in front of the moon there so um, change of plan um, I'm doing a f8 and I'm gonna go for about 12 minutes I think something in that region Maybe even a bit longer the camera really does it's very deceptive it's really not that bright out there so I'm just finishing off this exposure it's lovely. I just love doing this stuff at night. It's just, you know, why else would you be sitting on a bench at one o'clock in the morning, looking out to sea, staring at the moon? It's uh, quite a special experience. And I was just think, and I was just looking at this Hasselblad camera, and just thinking how much I love it. I kind of I hadn't fallen out of love with it, but I've been sort of having affairs with other cameras. And I still think, actually, if I had to stick with one camera for the rest of my life, um, it would be this one. I like my little Chamonix 4.5, but sometimes I hate the process. It's a love-hate thing. There's no love-hate with this camera at all. There's nothing I hate about it. Um, square crop. I love a square crop. I've got a 6.45 back for it. Sometimes I will shoot with that. And then, um, you know, if you follow my channel, you know that I bought, bought myself a Leica M3. And that has a big place in my heart as well. I've really been uh, spending a lot of time with her recently. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. But yeah, I think if I had to stick with one camera forever, it would be a Hasselblad 500. Yeah. Right, what's the time? Oh, here we go. Here we go. That was 12 minutes F8. Just this sound. Oh, everything sounds so beautifully engineered on these old cameras. Okay, so I've just done, um, I'm just finishing off an 11 minute development. Um, 
yeah, just coming up to time to uh, give this a water wash or stop bath, should I say. I'll give it three, three washes. Okay. So the development time for uh, HP5 at 800 would normally be, uh, I think it's 12 and a half, 13 minutes. So I just reduced it down a bit. Um, just a bit concerned about the highlights. Um, I'm a bit concerned about all, the, all these photos, to be honest with you. I'm not as confident as I would normally be. Uh, some of my exposures, the first exposure, I don't know, I had a feeling it may be overexposed. <laughs> I've got some, a feeling some others are underexposed. I didn't finish the whole roll either, actually. I've got nine, nine shots on here, but it's a busy time of year for me, so this is, it's gonna take me forever to finish that roll, I think. Right, that's it stopped. I've just mixed up a fresh batch of the um, zone imaging fixer, alkaline fixer. And I'll do this for about five minutes. I think I'll invert it for the first 30 seconds and then just 10 seconds of inversions after that on the minute. So I just checked it at five minutes and that's all beautifully clear. So let's pull this back. I must get a bloody funnel for this job. What I do with a stop bar is the like Ilford modified. I go 5, 10, 15, 20. That's 5. So that's all my rinses done. always give my film a soak in distilled water at the end. I used to have so many issues with drying marks on my nails. It was <laughs> in the old days. And then I went over to using distilled water with a little bit of um, wetting agent. Not too much though. Probably use three drips. This is probably going to last me 20 years, this, the amount I actually put in. One, two, three. One for luck. Four. I always invert the, um, the final soak really slowly. I don't want to turn it into a, a bubble bath. There we go. And I'll leave the, um, the film soaking for probably about five minutes and then that gives me a chance to clear up while the film's soaking away. Initially I've got a couple of photos I think I can uh, work with. Yeah, 
like underexposed here on these ones, inevitably. All right, look at this one with the boat. Yeah, interesting. And um, perhaps, yeah, maybe that first shot. Let's hang them up to dry. Don't let me die 